So that's his Google drawing. It's a shark that's bitten the boat and they're sinking and people are going to come and rescue them? Yeah, I wrecked that boat. It wasn't so far out, I'm sure. So the rescue boat's coming out for them? Yeah. Hope the shark doesn't get the rescue boat. Ah, uh, it should be. That so that's a great way like to get kids to draw, especially for kids who don't like to pick up pencils. He's not keen on picking up pencils, and it's a great way to get his motor skills happening for pencil and drawing and imagination, and it's homeschooling in so many different ways. I just had a bit of um, carrot with a little bit of peanut butter on it because I'm a little bit hungry, and I'm hoping that'll last until lunchtime because I'm still taking the juice in the morning. Oh, it's 11.30. Oh, there you go. That's why I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm still having the juice in the morning and night, and I'm still eating my main meal of lunchtime at around about 12-ish. Um, that's for seven days, and then I'm going to go straight on to 14 days of just juice. But it looks so yummy. Like, it looks red, like tomato red, but it's got no tomatoes in it. It is so, so yummy. I'm surprised with how yummy it is. I hope I have got don't have any around my mouth because I just took a sip. I've got apples in it, you've got red apples, green apples and yellow apples, lemons and then carrots and beetroot. It is so, so yummy. I did not expect it to be that yummy. I'm headachy, but I'm headachy because I have given up coffee at the same time. Kyle is really the biggest entrepreneur I've ever come across at the age of eight. He's already got enough money to open up a bank account from washing cars, crushing cans, just gardening, little jobs and pieces around the place that he just goes and asks people if he can do and he gets the jobs done for them and they give him like two dollars at a time. So he's got over a hundred dollars to go and put into the bank. Really excited for him, really proud of him. It's incredible how he's just raised so much money so quickly. So we're going to go do that and I'm going to go and get some ingredients. I'm going to make dinner tonight for everybody as well as David's boss. His boss and his wife have been, well I think his boss is not well and his wife's got a sort back, so I'm going to make dinner for them tonight and surprise them with it. Hopefully they haven't made something already, but I'm going to make the chicken ginger soup that I always make. It's just so yummy and so good for them. So I'm going to make two batches, one for our family and one for them. So I'm going to go to the shops and get the ingredients. And I think that's basically it today. I've already done the washing. I've already set the floors. I've got the rugs off the lounges. They're being washed. And I've made my bed. The boys haven't made their beds. Oh, Kyle kind of made his bed. I've made my bed. <clears throat> oh, got these gift bags. What do you do with gift bags? Like, let me know what I should do with them. There were gift bags given to me for Mother's Day with little presents in them. And I think it's a waste if I throw them out. Like, they're really cute and sweet. But what am I going to do with them? Where am I going to put them? They're so cute. Little bow on it and everything. So what do you guys do with gift bags when you're finished with them? Pop a comment underneath and let me know. Do I keep them? How do I keep them? Where am I going to keep them? Or should I just bite the bullet and throw them out? What a waste though. But then can I use them again? I just don't know. Been to the bank and back. The bank system was down. So Kyle couldn't open up his account. It was down completely. They've never had this system go down like that before. They took his details and they're going to open the account for me whenever they can, whenever the system's up and running again, and then I'm going to go in and deposit the money. We have to come home with his money. So I'm a little disappointed because he was kind of glad to see his money go into an account, but all the official paperwork's sorted. And now I am madly trying to make lunch and two batches of soup, making a batch for our family and a batch for David's boss. With a migraine, a migraine's coming. I can feel like the headache's just getting a little bit worse. It's starting to go to a migraine, which is a bummer. I'm hoping to get rid of it by drinking lots of water. And the kids are outside playing. There's two other beautiful boys in the caravan park at the moment. They're in a bus as well, and they've been travelling for three years on the road. And they're here for a couple of weeks, deciding where to go from here and what to do. They're not sure where they're going to go and what to do, but they're trying to decide. Our boys are getting along so well with these two gorgeous boys and it's so good to see they're having heaps of fun out there.
I don't know if you can see out the door, out the window. You can rest there. How much fun they're all having. I only have one big saucepan, so I'm going to cook this one. And this one's for David, the front one's for David's boss. And then when I take that out to take it to work, to drop it off, that one will go into this one. We'll add the rest of our ingredients. I did chicken ginger noodle soup this time. I've added these long knife noodles, they're called. And they're hard, they're not soft. You just add them to the water and they just cook as you're cooking the soup. So you can add it any time. I'm trying to get this fly out of here. I don't want to fly in here when I'm cooking. I'm trying to direct it towards the window where the window's got the fly screen open for the moment. So I've got a tea towel and I'm trying to swap it. I'm trying to get it. I'm trying to really get this fly out of here. I don't want it in here. I keep seeing it. And every time I go to get it, it moves and flies off like flies do. Of course. It keeps landing on you. You must smell. The fly lands on you. Hey, so I've done the dishes from cooking. That's all the scraps. I wish we had a worm farm. We did have a worm farm and we gave it away. I wish we had it again. And he's practicing his moves. He wants the boot open. I don't know. I think I got the fly out. I hope I got the fly out. He wants the boot open to get some tools out. What one's that? Stuff. Is that one of your moves from Taekwondo? Scrabble, Junior Scrabble. It's great for spelling. Okay, what's my day? Great for time? words recognition. It's a homeschooling was game. It my day? No, it's day? my go. It's a homeschooling game that we picked up when we were on the Sunshine Coast a while ago. And we play it now and then. Not enough. I should play it more often. Whoops. What are you doing? That doesn't go there. Pushing the letters off. Ah, you didn't look. <laughs> Tried to make the word jelly with an N in it. Um, and then you can add the next letter to it, but you can't just start the word off with an A. So you can start off the P or the T and then add the A. Or you can start off the trumpet with a T and then you got to add the R next and the U next and the M next. You I can't just do T and an the M. Trumpet. You finished the word trumpet? Yep. Good job. And I have eight bits. How many you? counters? Eight bits. Eight counters you've got. Hey guys, what do you think of my crazy ship? Oh yeah, show them your crazy ship. Nah. Come on, what do you think of my crazy ship? Bring it closer because you can't actually see it over there. Adam. We do squiggle drawing, draw that's a few lines, and then he turns it into a picture. That's my no. crazy shit. Your crazy shit. And that's it the posting. Yeah. It's a great game for um, teaching them to spell as well as word recognition, and teaching them how to play by the rules. Hey, I am. Yeah. Are you sure about that? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I'm sure. Mm-hmm. I'm positive. Uh-huh. I'm positive. Mm -hmm. I'm positive. Mm -hmm. ones are not good. They're awesome. Awesome. <coughs> oh, I didn't pick up. <coughs> How do you say it? Awesome. Awesome. Jofie Jake says that. Doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, she does. She does. He does. He does from England. Yeah. No, not England yet. Island. Okay. They're moving to England. I was watching that today. They're getting ready to move to England. Oh. I just finished off the piece, so I need pizza. What are you doing, Mr. Kyle? Being tighty. I'm being tight. Really? Yep. Keep Why did you warm. put tights over your jammies? So I can be. Extra warm. Sorry. Yes. How much fun did you have carrying that soup in the car? Eat a book. <laughs> what did you keep saying to me as I'm driving around corners? Slow down, slow down, slow down. Going over bumps. <laughs> we took the soup. Oh, now we've been hurt. <laughs> Not my fault. Slow you. Your gate are locked up. 
you locked up? Yep. Am I gonna lock you up? No. Keep you locked up forever. <laughs> I'm never leaving you. <laughs> did you hear that, everybody? Everyone in YouTube land, did you hear that? He's never leaving me until he gets married. Oh, <coughs> no, not even when I get married. <laughs> well, I'll do it to my other house sometimes. <laughs> now and then. And <laughs> Like you'll never show my feet up. You'll think never your show wife, my feet up. I think your wife will actually have something to say about that. <laughs> nah. You'll never show my feet up, Kyle. I'm going to be the richest guy in the world. You're looking the camera up? Yep. What are you going to do that for? Because you're locked up and you're never done away. I really? kind of love Mango t um, yep. being tickled by to death by Now you're in jail. The camera's, up now. The camera's in jail. No! Yes! You get up there. You're still in jail. The camera's in jail. Uh oh! It filmed too much. <laughs> <laughs> Can I have my camera back? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. You've locked yourself mm -hmm. up to the bus pole? Yeah. I got a TPC. <laughs> hey, Mum, are those real pals? Hey, Mum. <laughs> Is that a real pump? Hey mum, are those real headphones? Hey mum, is that a real camera? Hey mum, is that a real f um computer? Hey mum, is that a real camera? Hey mum, is that a real pump? Hey mum, is that a real pump? Pump pump? Oh! <laughs> yeah, okay. You rude boys. Oh. That suit worked fast. yourself up. <laughs> Please don't kill yourself. Please don't sacrifice yourself. I'm begging you. I'm begging you. Please don't sacrifice yourself. Some fireworks. fireworks. I'll look at him. I want to snap some to my back so I can go up in his eye. <laughs> <laughs> See? Dangerous. Where'd you learn that? <laughs> 